All right, Hunter Biden's legal team accusing lawmakers of being obsessed with, quote, attacking the Biden family. In a fiery statement, Hunter's attorney accusing House Republicans of manipulating the damning WhatsApp message. This, as a new report shows, the president warned top aides against offering him any advice on Hunter's public appearances. Former Assistant Treasury Secretary Monica Crowley joins us now with reaction. Uh, Monica, <laughs> I, I don't know how you, uh, I don't know how you tell your aides not to tell you that, hey, this is bad optics, but back to this WhatsApp and how the attorney is responding to it, it seems to me like he's just saying the visuals are fabricated, not that the text didn't happen. Yeah, it's great to be with you, Joey. Thank you, and good morning. Yeah, Abby Lowell, who is Hunter Biden's attorney, has been around de uh, Democratic politics and power players for a very long time. He handled Bill Clinton's impeachment case. So he knows his way around this game of throwing out a shiny object, trying to distract the public and others from the content of what's in these WhatsApp messages, as well as the content of the cases against Hunter Biden. He's also long been in the business of intimidating witnesses and congressional committees to try to stop them from carrying out their constitutionally uh, mandated oversight responsibilities. So this is what Abby Lowell is doing here. He's throwing out yet another shiny object, but it's not going to work, Joey. And the reason it's not going to work is because these IRS and other whistleblowers who have come forward at great risk to their families and their, their livelihoods and their jobs, et cetera, they have mountains of evidence, documentary evidence against Hunter Biden. And again, all roads lead to Joe, because none of this would be happening if Joe Biden weren't senator, vice president, and now president. Those offices they have leveraged over many years to enrich and empower themselves. Yeah. And, you know, with, yeah. NBC, with NBC reporting that uh, that Joe Biden is being told, hey, maybe you shouldn't be with your son everywhere you go while he's going through this trouble, you kind of think, well, that's optics and that's looking at 2024, right? And so when we look at 2024, we know that Governor Gavin Newsom, I mean, you don't do a Sean Hannity sit down interview unless you have something cooking, in my opinion. So what, what do we look at when, it's, when we look at Hunter Biden, what's happening with Joe Biden, even without a legal scandal, just with the optics going into 2024? Yeah, look, Joe Biden is traipsing Hunter around, keeping him, uh, you know, hip to hip. They're on Air Force One together. They went to Ireland together. They're at Camp David. He's at state dinners. This is the level of contempt that this White House and the Democrats <laughs> have for the American people, that Hunter is, you know, now he's an admitted criminal um, and that the president just keeps putting him in all of our faces. That's the contempt that they have. But I think looking at 2024, this is going to be a very dicey proposition, assuming that Joe Biden is the nominee. I don't think he is going to be the nominee. I mean, the man can't even find his pants, <laughs> and somehow he's going to run for president, serve another four years. It's absurd. So uh, the Democrat power brokers on the left understand this, understand yeah. he's incredibly weak, and know that they can't run Kamala Harris either because she's historically the most unpopular vice president. So are they looking for alternatives like Governor Newsom, perhaps Michelle Obama? We don't know, but it certainly looks like it's moving in that direction. Certainly looks like that way to me. I know that several people feel that way, and I guess we'll have to wait and see. Monica Crowley, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Joey. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.